What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And before we get into this video, we got to talk about the six year anniversary pre register page open, which is pretty freaking awesome. And what this thing is, is they're going to give us a tier two selector and 600 free crystals along with 1.5 million gold as long as you pre register. So all you want to make sure you do is go to the go to pre register page, click on that, and then you want to scroll down. You want to click on pre registration now. You want to scroll down a little bit more. And if you're on Google Play, you're probably going to use your Android. If you're on the App Store, you're going to use your iPhone. Make sure it's where it says, please enter your email address. Type in your email address here. And then agree to terms of service and privacy and policy. And then click your pre-registration. And you'll be able to get that tier 2 selector and those 600 crystals. Which I think are absolutely fantastic. What a great reward. Thank you so much, Net Marble. Uh, really, really happy. They seem to be coming a little bit less stingy over time, which is actually freaking fantastic. Now, let's talk about the character at hand, which is Thor. And Thor is another character that you can choose from your Tier 3 selector, so I thought we'd push him a little bit today to see what he can do. And my Thor does have about 39,000 energy attack. I have 96% energy attack on my cards. I do have 4% pierce. He has max attack speed. He has... Close enough to max critical rate. It's going to be max critical rate when he uses his force skill. He has max critical damage, max ignore defense, max skill cooldown. And he does have about 74% dodge, which is almost maxed out. And Thor can actually t take advantage of the leadership tag, which, whoops, the leadership tag, which we will not be using. And he's built pretty decent, but not the best. You know, I do have five star energy attack Urus on him. In all honesty, if I had these things at Mythic or I had some Odin's Blessing on him, he'd be quite a bit stronger. Uh, because really when you increase the stats, Thor's damage really does go up quite a bit. And as far as the skills, they're all at 6. And the 4 skills where you're actually going to get that critical rate. But you want to make sure that you hold this skill until uh, it clicks on 10 before you can actually get your max critical rate and max attack. If you just hit the skill and cancel it, you're only going to get 20% all attack. So you've got to hold it for a little bit to get that 60% all attack. And also to make sure you get that heal. That's very important. 20% recovery is very, very good, but the skill does have a 12 second cooldown. It's kind of a crux but it's really not that bad. In all honesty, I complained about this in the very beginning, but really when you play this thing or when you play Thor for a while, you actually get pretty used to it and he actually becomes a whole lot more fun to play. He does have a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set and he does have a CTP of Rage. And currently with 4% Pierce, and I've already tested this, the Rage is actually better. It does a lot more damage than a CTP of Judgment, at least for now. Now, all the feedback that I've been getting from my Alliance members, from other players, is that a CTP of Judgment, when you have 10% Pierce on your account, the CTP of Judgment actually will do more damage for Thor instead of CTP of Rage. So keep that in mind, you know, and you know, take a look at your cards and see how much Pierce you have to decide whether or not you think Thor is going to be a good character for your Tier 3 Selector. And he does have a Mythic Uniform. And these are the uniform options right here. So let's jump into the action and let's rock and roll. So for Thor, we're just going to be taking on Mephisto and all because let's just be honest, most of you just want to know how well these characters perform against Mephisto and all because that is the end game content. And that is where you can get pretty much the best rewards for the most part, except for maybe something like Odin's Blessing from the regular world boss. And Thor does amazing against regular world balls. He'll freaking destroy it. No problem. And I am using Beta Ray for the 6% increase of lightning damage. And Valkyrie. And something to keep in mind when you're watching this run. I am only doing stage 7. And something you need to remember is that Mephisto is resistant to all elements except for cold. Uh, he has a high resistance to them. So they these characters don't do as much damage to Mephisto. Now something that's really nice about Thor, like Black Widow and Black Bolt is he has terrific movement speed. I'm not using any movement speed strikers at all. I just have damage dealt to super villain strikers. And I have Venom in there. And I have Venom really so I can play much more aggressively. I, you really don't need Venom in all honesty. But he just makes your life a lot easier sometimes when you're trying to push the envelope. And you're trying to play super aggressive so you can do a lot more damage over time. And, and, and I can play that way with Thor. But... That second skill that Thor has is a godsend. It is amazing because it can actually move you around and get you out of danger. I mean, look what I'm doing. I just get out of the danger right there, right? And I'm using Valkyrie all the time. You guys know why I use Valkyrie. Her movement speed is just absolutely insane. She's pretty much like 
the Marvel version of the Flash, at least in this game, right? She's just super fast. And she just works really well for the movie speed. But I could have easily used Thor. And I try to charge the Force skill to get the 60% all attack before I hit the Tier 3, but it doesn't always work that way. Whenever you're playing with Thor and you're using his Tier 3, as soon as that Rage procs when you hit that Force skill, you really kind of want to go into the Tier 3. But if that Fist skill is available, or if the co-op's available, hit the Fist skill like you'll hit the charge, and once that proc triggers, then hit the Fist skill, or hit the co-op if it's available, and then hit your Tier 3, and you will see an insane spike of damage. It is insane. Insane, my friends. Thor will melt. And you know, and to be fair, you know, Black Bolt he actually did stage eight, right? Well, Thor again because he's lightning, he has, you know, he gets, he does less damage to Mephisto because of this. But also, my Thor has five star energy attack Urus versus my Black Bolt that actually has mythic energy attack Urus, and that does make a difference in the amount of damage you do. Like I said earlier, when it comes to Thor. Having extra attack makes a big difference. If he has more energy attack, his damage really does skyrocket quite a bit. So I really, I tried stage eight quite a few times and I do believe he definitely can do it on my account with 4% Pierce, uh, having 96% energy attack. I would just have to build him up a little bit better. And, and something else you might want to notice is I'm just using Thor as my main damage dealer. So if I wasn't skirting around killing time, uh, then I could use Beta Ray Bill's Awakened Skill. I could use Valkyrie's Awakened Skill, even though she has a type of disadvantage against Mephisto. We could still be doing a little bit more damage throughout the fight at a faster rate, right? So I really think if I'd been using Beta Ray Bill, which is really when you're playing with maybe, say, this team, and you have Thor, right? And you have Beta Ray, you can really just kind of fluctuate between Thor and Beta Ray back and forth to do a crap ton of damage, you know. And this is really an excellent team uh, to think about because you have heals on Beta Ray and Valkyrie. I mean, they can play very aggressive without dying, although Valkyrie, having the type of disadvantage, she can die fairly easy against Mephisto, especially when you start going in higher stages. And it's just smooth sailing now. And again, you know, I tried Stage 8 a bunch of times, but I would always come down to, like, the last two or three bars. So I know he can do stage 8 if I just build him up just a little bit better. And I, I do think that him and Black Bolt are fairly close. You know, I, I think Black Bolt does have an edge against Mephisto because he doesn't deal any kind of elemental damage, right? But Thor is freaking, he's pretty ridiculous, honestly, against Null. Well, even though Null seems to have resistances to elementals, it just, Thor just seems to do a lot more damage against him, although it could be just that my Conqueror level is a lot higher, and that's probably why I'm able to do more damage against Null. That, that might be what it is, I just have a higher Conqueror level. And I really find starting off with the 5 works out a lot better because you get that invincibility. You can quickly use the third skill, which does have a guard hit, but against these world bosses, guards are worthless. Run around, run around, run around. Boom shakalaka. And dead. So, you know, I had 12 seconds to spare. And I, I really believe he could do stage 8. Again, if I just had a little bit better build, maybe if I had mythic energy attack Urus, I probably could have pulled off stage 8. Now let's take on Null. Okay, so I'm going to be using the exact same team. You know, we want Valkyrie, especially for that ignore dodge. And I do have one ignore dodge striker. So we're only rocking about 50% ignore dodge. Maybe if I'd had another do ignore dodge striker, we actually would probably maybe even done more damage because then Null wouldn't be dodging our attacks as often. But you'll see that Thor can pretty much melt this. I mean, you see the bars flying off. This is stage 9. I mean, look at those bars just flying off. I mean, Thor's got some serious, serious power. And like I said, you know, earlier, whenever I first started playing with Thor, you know, I just don't like charge skills. But I don't know, you know, when I do when I was playing with him, you know, here recently making this video, I was actually having a lot of fun. I was having a lot of fun playing him. And there are times that, you know, I don't use the charge skill when the tier 3 is ready because I'm just trying to do as much damage over time as I can. And you'll find it's a lot better to do it that way because I find whenever I hold around and I wait around, like say the 4 skill is still on cooldown, the tier 3 is ready, if I wait and wait and wait, I seem to do less damage over time if I do that, you know, throughout a 5 minute period. And if I just kind of push the envelope and just, you know, whenever the tier 3 is ready, just try to incorporate the 5 involved with it. 
Try to incorporate some skills with it. I seem to do a lot more damage. I mean, he's, he's melting the hell out of this thing. Come on, come on. And you really want to use the co-op as much as you can. That co-op button actually does Thor's Fist skill, which does a lot of damage. And you really want to use that thing every chance you get. You want to use it like right before doing a tier three or right after doing a tier three, or you want to do it like in your second rotation. So usually I'd go five, three, charge up the four, go into the two. And then I would hit the five, three, co-op, two, something like that. Run around, run around. And you'll do crazy, crazy damage. And in this run, we're just mainly going to be using Thor again. And just like I said earlier with Mephisto, I mean, if you were using Beta Ray and Valkyrie and you were just doing tons of damage with those characters on top of using Thor, maybe it would be even better. But I don't know. You know, against Null, it, just, it seems like uh, when I just keep Thor in there, I seem to do more damage. I don't know. It's weird. I think the Conquer levels definitely play a big factor in what's going on as far as how much damage you're doing. There, I'm using that second skill to get out of danger. Another thing about that second skill is that sucker has a pretty low cooldown, which is really, really nice. I mean, a skill that gets you out of danger. Now, watch this. I hit the five, and then I hit the tier three. And boom. Now, I got to switch my character, otherwise we'll die. And I would look at the look at the health on Thor. Since we Look at the health on him. 325 health, my friends. Yeah, he is going all out. Now, I was playing very, very aggressive there. Uh, quite overzealous, you know. But it's all good, right? We want to push the envelope. We're trying to do as much damage as we can, as fast as we can. And I saw he was getting low, but that's okay. We got a heal. We're going to let that charge up. We got our heal. And then we're going to get the hell out of dodge. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch my character here. Because if we get hit just once by Null, we will die. So I just wanted to go ahead and switch. And then we'll just bring Thor back in as soon as he's ready. There we go. Melt, my friend. Melt. Oh, yeah. The God of Thunder. Oh, boy. One bad thing is he only has that three seconds of invincibility, so he can get interrupted quite easily. But he does have nice long iframes on the four and the two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use Valkyrie because we just don't have much health. And if I try to use Thor right now, even though we have invincibility on the four, the five, we would just die. So I just went ahead and used Val Valkyrie to make sure we can do a little bit of damage and then finish off with the God of Thunder. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, and really the bad thing about Thor, honestly, is the fact that he is the best with uh, Rage. But you look at the time, guys. I mean... And, and if I had just a little bit better run, he could have done this in four minutes. Four minutes, and he pretty much did all of the damage, right? And I didn't need a healing striker or nothing like that. So if you have a Rage or even a Judgment, if you plan on getting your Pierce up a little bit, then Thor's, you know, he's going to be a good candidate. In all honesty, you know, uh, Thor and Black Bolt, both of them, I feel like are really, really good candidates for your tier three selector. I mean, in Thor's case, if you have Beta Ray Bill, and everybody should have Valkyrie, you should, everybody should be leveling up Valkyrie. If you have Beta Ray Bill, this could be an excellent team for you, especially if you're trying to get your first time clears. You know, kind of like if you have uh, Medusa, then Black Bolt would have been a really good choice. We should get that extra support. Kind of the same thing for Thor with Beta Ray Bill. So let me know how you're all feeling about Thor destroying Null. And I stream on Twitch at Reset Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And also, make sure to put your IGN in the comments. I will be doing Rust reviews over the weekend like we did last weekend. But make sure you ask me a specific question about your roster. Because if you don't, I won't choose you. I won't know what to look for. So whether it's about cards, characters, uh, CTPs, what CTPs put on what characters, whatever it may be, write your specific question in the comments with your IGN. And I will try to get to you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.